Hello everybody, Ben the Pat Tester here. Welcome back. Thanks for watching all my videos recently. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well if you like what I do. Just click that subscribe button just under the video screen that you're watching on. Uh, the video this time around is about these things. 13 amp adapters. Um, are they safe to use? Should you pass them? Should you fail them? So um, there are commonly... Um, two types of adapter they'll either be a two-way adapter which will have two sockets in or one like this one which will have a three-way socket these ones are a bit posh um it's got a switch on it and surge protection in that one um but anyway the uh three-way adapters should be fused um and you'll see the bs1363 uh, marking on there so they meet the british standard so three-way ones should be fused that'll have a 13 amp fuse in there now there are two-way ones uh so it only have two sockets on it that are still for sale you can buy them today from various wholesalers and other places but the two-way ones won't have a fuse um, but they'll still have the BS uh, marking on them. So that kind of then confuses things because you think, right, okay, well, it, 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 it's it got a British standard marking on it, but it's not fused. So in that case, you could have the, the two sockets here. And then just say, for instance, you could plug in two, two kilowatt heaters, um, plug them in at full blast, and then you're putting four kilowatt um out of an adapter that's only rated at three kilowatts so then logic would suggest you're going to overload that you know it could be a fire risk uh, and what have you um with a three-way one obviously you still probably wouldn't want to plug into two kilowatt ears but you've got the fuse protection there so what does the code of practice say well the code of practice says here this is the um just for those of you who want to know, it's the in-service inspection and testing of electrical equipment, fifth edition. So this is the most recent one. And it says here, certain adapters, such as cube adapters, which is what this is, or IEC um, adapters, may be unfused, meaning that it is possible to overload the adapter, which would result in a fire risk. So that's exactly what I just said about plugging in heaters and, and other high drain appliances. So it says here, it is recommended that these are replaced with fused multi-way extension leads or replacing a two-way unfused adapter for a three-way in worst case scenario. Um, so it's saying that it is recommended that these are replaced. It doesn't say that these must be replaced or they have to be replaced. So what would I do in this situation? Well, what I would do if I came across a two-way adapter, I would quite simply... Um, I would record it on your test results as a failure and then you'd put in your notes that the code of practice recommends um, that these are replaced um, and then I would fail it I would take it out of service if if at all possible now sometimes if you're um, going into somewhere you might have a couple of critical pieces of equipment you might have a um, I don't know, you might have a, a wireless router in there, you might have a, a wireless doorbell, a burglar alarm controller or something. So wherever you're going, if you're going into a rented property and it's not, you know, you, you can't take it out of service straight away. So what I would then do just for peace of mind, I would test it anyway, just to check that it's still as safe as, as it is intended. You've still got that earth protection and, and insulation and polarity and everything else. And then I would... Um, just so you know that then passes but then I would also put on the notes that you recommend that it is replaced as soon as possible but you're not able to take it out of service um, because it's powering a, a wireless internet router or something like that um, because you know if you're going into a rented property or a, a HMO or it might be a care home or something like that you might have a, a wireless router which is also then connected to a panic alarm or something like that. And if you have to take that out of service, which means one piece of appliance is then un left unplugged, um, the person whose equipment it is, you know, um, they won't be fully protected either and you know, it might mess things up for them. Um, so yeah, that, that's what I would do. But ultimately, you want to get the two-way ones out of service. I mean, it... 
it is a bit of a contradiction that they're still on sale when you can still buy them online today or in a shop tomorrow. Um, but yet the code of practice is saying, well, they need to be uh, replaced with a fused one, which then makes you think why the two-way ones are allowed to be sold without fuses. It's a bit of a contradiction, but you know, we try and work to the code of practice the best we can. Yeah, you know, we don't have to. It's not a, it's not a legal requirement that we have to operate to the code of practice, but it is a guidance and it is there, and there's some really great information in there as well. So. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions about this one, uh, let me know in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, please do subscribe to the channel. It helps me get it out there to lots of different people. And um, yeah, see you next time.